Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here getting ready to take out the French D373 in Air Realistic. First things first, our seven down here is kind of golden, which means we have some crew points we need to spread about. I've already done everything under 25 for air. Let's see where we are for ground. Those are done. These guys need some love. I should say 25 and under. All right, good enough. That's done. So. Uh, about this plane, I actually kind of like it more than the 371. The 371 has a better fire rate on the guns, but I prefer the slower fire rate, to be honest with you. Um, a lot easier to conserve ammo. It's a bit faster than the 371 and climbs better. So let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map is a consolidation of positions of Sicily. Uh, we're taking out our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance and minimum fuel load. While we take off, let's look around at who's taking off with us. Just a BF2. Ah, shit. I had small games yesterday where there were only six people on either side. I was hoping we'd get some more today, but maybe they'll come in late. All right, so in this plane and pretty much all the real low tiers, you want to climb around 125 miles per hour. We're all set. We'll turn our smoke off and see who we're up against. So. Germans and Italians on the other side. We do have a seventh player for each. Got three bombers on our side, which is kind of good. That means we'll have a better chance of shooting down some planes, less fighters on our side to sweep them up. So let's take a look at the map. Their airfield's gonna point them this way. We're pointed that way. I think I'm gonna aim over towards the right here, um, towards their right hand ground units, which are directly in front of me now. Keep our climb in the 125-ish. All right, we're good to go for a minute. Um, so yeah, not sure where the small game is getting a little bit bigger. That's good. So this map, light tanks we wouldn't be able to do anything to, but the artillery we certainly could and the AAs. Um, if we get to a point where there's not a lot left to shoot down in the sky, we can focus on some grounds later. Do you know if you wept this uh, engine too long, the war emergency power, you're going to burn out your engine. So we got to keep half an eye on that. Got one Stuka diving hard. See how he does. Another one below us. More interested in the G50. He's more of a threat to us. And they've got a bomber over there that's going to go hit some bases on our side. But we can let him go for now. I prefer to focus on the fighters. So we definitely have an energy advantage over the G50, unless he has some of his buddies come up behind him. Uh, we'll probably head over his way, see if we can't take him out. So you're fine climbing at 125, but by the time you're going to go into battle, like I guess when you're within about five kilometers of any of the opponents, you should really get your speed up to at least 150. At 125, you're just not gonna have enough air going over the wings to maneuver quickly. Um, use your rudder and your ailerons and your elevator, etc. All right, so G50 flew right past our guy. Looks like he knows what he's doing enough to not turn with guys who can outturn him. So we can get some shots at him here. Good. Definitely had a huge energy advantage. So now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and do a shallow climb until we get back down to about 175 miles per hour. And then we'll go ahead and flip over. That's just to take that energy that we had built up as speed, turn it back into altitude, so we keep our total energy up as much as we can. If we just stayed kind of low to the ground there, um, the force of the air going to, you know, against the aircraft is gonna slow us down and wouldn't be able to get it back by diving, so. Let's see what's going on. I still have several people. I only see a few. Gorilla looks like he's going back to base. BA-65, if we keep an energy advantage, is not a threat. The HE-112 can be, certainly. So let's just kind of fly over the group over there at about 180 miles per hour and see what they want to do. My guess is this 112 is going to want us, and hopefully we can climb stall him.
But he surprised me. Oh, that's why. I had a buddy down there for him to shoot down. Not worried about the HE-51 right now. Let's go ahead and dive in and just do a pass. So when I say do a pass, we don't want to turn with anybody. We're starting to burn up our engine. Well, I don't know if we care about turning with anybody if we're meeting up with a group of three of our teammates. Might take that back. Get after this BA-65, he's down. Got energy on the HE-51, he's not maneuvering yet, so slowly come up behind him and shoot the shit at him. Alright, still got energy advantage over the 112s. To go after the one that got away. Couple good hits. He's down. Let's go after the Stuka. up our engine. So, we've got plenty of ammo left. Started with 1,200. We're down to about 750. Looks like he wants to head on. We're much more maneuverable, so we definitely don't want to head on with him. And we know that we can just turn around and get behind him once we pass. There's a place for head-ons, but it's when the other side has a, a better plane than you, more maneuverable, etc. Not when you're at the advantage. Come on, shots. Not getting good hits, I'll tell you that. He's down though. Alright, they only have one guy left. Let's go hit a few ground units before this thing ends. I assume the one guy they have left was the bomber that went and hit our bases and it's sitting up where somewhere in the sky. Let's see. He's saying it's right on me. That's probably not good. Oh well. Alright, so we're coming in towards the AAs. We're going to want to dive. Normally I do AAs first, but I think I'm going to do artillery just because we're behind in the game right now. So, you notice the artillery blinks and the AAs don't. So that one blinks, that one doesn't. That's because the artillery, anything that blinks counts towards winning the game. If you take out AAs, yes it helps your team, but it's not going to kind of bring down the red bar on the enemy side. Good. Artillery there. 220 rounds left. Artillery underneath us. Let's see, there's the Stuka. He's RTB, looks like. Let's grab this artillery. Got a whole line of armored cars over there. alone from now so you'll notice if you fly low enough the A's aren't going to shoot at you so when you're coming in to take out A's just get nice and low and they won't even bother with you another arty good Shot at it, and it was on the other side of the hill. Nice job. All right, 76 rounds. We'll go get that artillery and RTB. Now, as we get up too high, their AA is going to start shooting at us, which we don't want. But A shit happens. So, on our egress, we're just going to stay nice and low. Let our teammates know we're going back to the base. And I will see you guys once I'm... Repaired, rearmed, and all that shit. See you in a bit. Alright, so our teammates ended up getting the last player. That is game. Best thing to do now is crash your plane into the ground.
All right, so that was a quick game, but a good one. We ended up with four air targets. We got seven grounds, and uh, we didn't even make it all the way back to return to base. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.